एवरीवन आय एम रसिका वाकुरे अ स्टूडंट ऑफ कमिंग्स कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग फॉर वुमन नागपूर स्टडिंग इन सेकंड इयर इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स अँड टेलिकम्युनिकेशन ब्रांच अँड टुडे आय एम हिअर टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द बॅलेन्स लूप डिटेक्टर सो लेट्स सी व्हॉट इज बॅलेन्स लूप डिटेक्टर अ बॅलेन्स लूप डिटेक्टर इज ऑल्सो नोन ॲज अ बॅलेन्स फ्रिक्वेन्सी डिटेक्टर and the balance slope detector is an improved version of slope detectors the drawback of harmonic distortion is remove in this detector by using two slope detectors instead of one as in case of single tuned slope detector this figure shows the block diagram of balance slope detector the circuit shows that the balance slope detector consists of two slope detector circuit this is this is slope detector 1 and this is slope detector 2 the input transformer has a center tap secondary hence the input voltages to the two slope detectors are 180 degree out of phase there are three tuned circuit out of them the primary is tuned to if that is fc this is the primary tuned circuit and the upper tuned circuit of the secondary t1 is tuned above fc by del f that is the resonant frequency is fc plus del f and the lower tuned circuit of the secondary is tuned below fc by del f that is at fc minus del f and the r1 c1 and r2 c2 are the filter used to bypass the rf ripple this is the r1 c1 and this is the r2 c2 which is used to bypass the rf ripple and v01 and v02 are the output voltages of the two slope detector and the final output voltage is v0 is obtained by taking subtraction of the individual output voltages v01 and v02 therefore v0 equals to v01 minus v02 let's see the working operation of the balance slope detector we can understand the circuit operation by dividing the input frequencies into three ranges as follows the first case is fn equals to fc when the input frequency is instantaneously equal to fc the induced voltage in the t1 winding of secondary is exactly equal to that induced in the winding of t2 thus the input voltages to the both the diode d1 and d2 will be the same therefore their dc output voltages v01 and v02 will also be identical but they have opposite polarities hence the net output voltage v0 equals to 0 and in case 2 fc is less than f in is less than fc plus del f in this range of the input frequency the induced voltage in the winding t1 is higher than that induced in t2 therefore the input to d1 is higher than d2 hence the positive output v01 of d1 is higher than the negative output v02 of d2 therefore the output voltage v0 is positive as the input frequency increases towards fc plus del f the positive output voltage increases as shown in the figure if the output frequency goes outside the range of fc minus del f to fc plus del f then the output voltage will fall due to the reduction in the tuned circuit response therefore v0 is false let's see the curve of balance slope detector which shows the characteristics of the balance slope detector in first case output voltage is negative because the input to d1 is less than the input to d2 it means the v01 is less than v02 and in second case output voltage is zero because input to d1 and d2 are equal it means v01 is equals to v02 and in third case v0 is positive because input to d1 is higher than the input to d2 it means v01 is greater than the v02 so it is the slope curve of the balance slope detector let's see the characteristics of balance slope detector due to the typical shape it is known as an s shape characteristics because its curve implies as a s shape and there is a linear portion at the center of response curve and towards the edge the response 
become very disorted. Let's see the advantages and disadvantages of balanced loop detector. In advantages, this circuit is more efficient in comparison to simple slope detector and this circuit has better linearity than the simple slope detector. And the disadvantages are even though linearity is good but it is not good enough because this circuit is difficult to tune. The circuit since the three tune circuit are to be tuned at different frequencies that is FC, FC plus del F and FC minus del F. And in this circuit amplitude limiting is not provided. Here is the whole explanation about balanced loop detector. Thank you.